How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Carlos Collection Pack 3. So if you got to see my previous videos on the Carlos Collection Pack 1 and 2, these packs are made by a good friend of mine, Omar. Probably put his face somewhere on the screen. But he takes the time to make these packs of arcade classics. And he does the long process of getting everything sorted out everything that you would need in these packs, including the folders. So that's what we're going to be taking a look. Unfortunately, I can't show the uh, complete installation of this, but Omar thought of that as well. Once you download the pack, there's going to be a readme file and it should look something like this, the Carlos Collection Pack 3 zip file. So if you look in the description down below, there's going to be a link that should take you to the page where you can start the download process of this pack and then have it move to the desktop and then use 7-zip to extract it to the desktop or wherever you want to extract it at. Now, without going into too much detail, just want to show you, I think I can show you the inside of this folder at least, but everything that you need in order to get sorted out with this collection pack is here. If you got to see my previous video on the collection pack one and two, you shouldn't need everything. You just need some files. But of course, if you're confused or if it's your first time seeing this video, you got to check out the readme first text file and it has everything that you would need to get sorted out. Also, inside the text file, there are other links to like Facebook help pages. I think there's a link to Omar uh, himself if you want to private message him. I don't quote me on that. And also, if you need help from me, you can leave a comment down below on this video and I'll try and help you out as best as I can. But that's pretty much it. The idea is just, it's already set up to just put everything on your SD card and you should be good to go. But like I said, check out the readme text file and everything should be okay. But with that being said, let's just go ahead and check out what's in this collection pack. OK, so I went ahead and installed all of the folders. And if you have a question on how I did that, the readme has all that information as well. But I use DBI installer. But I made them into their own group so that way we can see what's inside of this collection pack. I believe that Omar added 57 titles in this collection. So let's go ahead and scroll through each and every one of them. Right on the bottom, it will have the name of this title. And we went through all of our testing and everything should be just fine. Now, if you don't know what a forwarder does, this will automatically go into RetroArch for you and enter the title. That way you can play it from the home menu of the Switch. There's also inside the pack, a forwarder for RetroArch. If you don't want to have all of these uh, forwarders installed, you can just use that RetroArch forwarder and uh, scroll through the titles from there. The information is also in that readme text file on where the location's at. And since RetroArch is already set up for you, you can go ahead and add whatever you want to onto your own titles. Also, the readme text file does have that information as well. So 57 titles. I wish I can show you the process like I usually do on all my videos. But of course, if you have any questions, you can uh, leave a comment down below or you know, reach out to Omar or any one of the Facebook groups if you have any troubles. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. The rest of this video, I'm going to be testing out some of these titles. So that way you can see how it works with the forwarders and how the games play as well. So. If you're interested, you can stick along and watch some of these titles. And also, if you want to leave a comment on seeing a specific title in this pack, I can do a longer gameplay. But with that being said, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Top right hand corner will have the FPS counter. Now, that's something that you set up on your own, but I just wanted to show it here. A lot of people ask about the FPS and well, if you're interested, top right hand corner. These games play like an arcade. You can just put coins by pushing the minus on the controller and start playing.
I've never played this before. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Good thing you have inf infinite lives. <laughs> right in my face. Prepare to die! 